Hi there! I am back. Sorry it's been a couple of days. I just really had an issue with my arm, but thankfully I think it's kind of healed itself, though I did pull it again. <laughs> so, i um, anticipating putting up a video every day this week, uh, except Monday because that's already passed. So, here is the cover. We're going to put it together today. What do you guys think? I love it. Uh, this was like an upholstery material, so it's a little bit heavier. And then I found this in my stash, and I really loved it. So I am going to add, I think, some flowers or something, just so it's not quite as busy. Um, but yeah, it's not perfect. Clint made the cover, except I went around the edges at the end. And it's not great, but you know, handmade covers are like that. So I'm not going to stress about it. Clint had to run to an emergency or he would have finished it. But I really just want to get this done, get it in the uh, store if anyone is interested. So we are going to, let me show you. You know what, I have my thing inside. So I want six inches on both sides. My thing is, <laughs> I should explain that. My thing is, um, Tim Holtz um, ruler. Really like to have like a flat surface here. This one is really hard to see. That says nine right there, but but anyways, I'm gonna use this to measure because I do six, and I think we're gonna have a three-inch spine on here. So as long as I can get that kind of about six inches or so, I think that will work. So I did put a lace pocket, as you could tell. Um, Clint makes this, and he, he uses a really stiff interfacing to make the, the cover out of. And I was going to try to do something. It was too hard. I didn't feel like it. So, but I did put a like a double lace kind of pocket and it's not like attached in the center but that's okay because when we sew it in it'll be fine right so let's do six on this one yeah I definitely need my Tim Holtz ruler out here because I don't know how to read this <laughs> it's just a big flat ruler and it's just so convenient you know okay so it's right here that's why I'm using this just because it's kind of got a bigger surface and, but I love this it took us a while for me to find this and we went through all of our fabric and I was like I want it to look you know a certain way and we went inside I had a different fabric it was almost like a pure white with a little, some little flowers. Then I saw this and I was like, yeah, we're going with this one. So I'll just show you how to how we are going to sew that in. So is that three inches? Sure doesn't look like it, does it? That is not, he must not have done it right. Which is good that I guess I didn't add the one um, piece that I wanted to add because it's supposed to be 16 and he only did. No, it was supposed to be 15. Maybe I usually don't do that. Well, I don't know. It is what it, <laughs> what it is. Okay, let's get our pieces and we'll get those. I probably won't show you how I sew them in. I just kind of want to show you what we're going to do, what it's going to look like. Maybe I'll sew one in for you, just, just so you know. I think I want this one as the, front, as the first one. So it's going to go in like that, then this one is going to go in like that, and it's going to be a chunky monkey. I mean, it could be a gator mouth, couldn't it? Oh, but first, let's put our tie on it. That way, I'm not fighting with that stuff. Um, let me grab this. Our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work out here, get more organized. Um, yeah, I really don't know why that didn't turn out 
right. Did I measure it wrong? Oh, I measured it a little bit, bit wider, didn't I? Because zero, so yeah, I did like six and three quarter inches. Because the zero is like half an inch in. So it was me, it was not Clint. Don't tell him I messed up. <laughs> and blame him. Okay. He doesn't care. You guys know how he is. Okay. How tall is this? Is. Oh. Six, eight. It's supposed to be nine. So. It is. It's that thing. I don't know. I found this ruler at a yard sale or something. I don't know. So I need the four, I need four and a half. Just going to use this pen. Kind of remind myself where it is. And then the same on this side. It's just easier to do it, you know, now. But yeah, I was kind of, you can tell I didn't do a great job on sewing around it. It's kind of floopy. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Clint will probably be like, take it off and do it all over again, but I'm not going to because, um, let me find, oh, and we have that beautiful tassel. Still have my stuff from my friend. Here's those. Remember those? See how the, I think that's perfect. I'm glad. I did get some new, um, new stuff. I got like a grab bag and I think it turned out so it's like perfect for um, ties you get two ties per each color kind of and I was thinking that is perfect I'm trying to figure out what color I want let's do blue I guess just uh I'll link these below they're a little bit large but they work so, where's my, there's my spot. Oh, and I'm going to, did I tell you I was going, I'm going to add some flowers or something to this. Because it is kind of wild looking. Okay, so we got that. Cut that off, but we'll do that here in a minute. Today I was feeling better, so I my dishes were piling up. I went ahead. I did two two loads of dishwasher. Oh come on, you! <laughs> I got stuff on my desk from Lindsay. I haven't put up yet. Um, two loads of dishwasher, but I was taking care of something I should have taken care of a while, and then I realized that everything was dirty. So it's my dehydrator. Like all the racks, I guess one of the things we had done in the dehydrator, it kind of, um, one of the gel, jellies or whatever we were doing, the fruit leather, it kind of, you know what, that's not very, it didn't go all the way through. Don't I have longer ones? Let's see, let me look in here. I might have to wait on Clint to do these. Oh, this one might be a longer one. So I may ask Clint because I think he might have longer ones. So we'll see how that works. Okay, so I called Clint and I thought he had longer ones. So I went inside and they are super, super long. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use these. It'll make it pretty. Oh, he might actually be able to cut it down for me so I think I'm gonna wait until he gets back I'll be right back so he's on the way home and we'll discuss it when he gets home he thinks he might can cut them down for me uh, I think I have some that are just a hair longer 
so I'll measure them and make sure I have longer ones for next time but if not I'm just gonna put it in and do it so it'll be pretty on the front and it'll be fine some people don't even put eyelets in it so okay let's go ahead and we're gonna sew the um, signatures in in the meantime let me find my, my uh, kit I always have my kit and it's very simple but I like everything together because you guys know me I am not the uh, <laughs> not the uh, most organized person in the world and I would be totally lost without just having my kit everything's fallen all over the place okay so I have already have like a little template to punch my holes here's my hole puncher here's some clamps my needle and then I always use just a waxed thread a linen thread and I believe that's all I need so let's see what we can do guys <sighs> talk to my friend she went on uh, spring break my friend Lindsay hi Lindsay she's probably watching but um she made it home sadly they went to Florida she's from California and to see family in Florida and they were sick part of the time and I always hate being sick on vacation you know okay so the first thing I do is we're gonna go through all of these I'm actually gonna pull this out because my paper clip fell off of it make sure everything is up and down <laughs> correct the correct way then if you have like fabric flips you want to kind of move those out of the way and so forth anything that you know would cause an issue like this it's going to be fine but you want to get to the middle and I always say go ahead and go through the back because say you do a fabric flip you put it in and you accidentally put it in upside down but the front part of it doesn't have an orientation so that could be an issue does that make sense like this one if you're looking at it you know it might not have an orientation so you want to look through both parts of your um, thing, like this paper wouldn't have had one. And if you fold it like this, that way it doesn't like get caught in there. And you just want to move your papers the way that you want them to be oriented in your book. Okay, and then what I like to do is I just, just go ahead and make sure it's really really strong in there and then I clamp it I go there and then I go to the bottom make sure all my pieces are really tight like that and then I think I have another one of these yep I do can't blame anything on Lida huh Hope you guys had a nice Easter. We didn't do much. Uh, I made a nice meal, but we just don't do much. And um, Clint was hurting so bad this week. Last week was hard on him. Plus, I was, you know, not feeling good and and all that. But so we just rested and watched the Ten Commandments. He loves to watch that at Easter. Okay, so just make sure that is going the way you want it to go. I'm going to push that out of the side and I want to put my holes in here. And just make sure this is the top. You always want to put the top because I tell you if you don't then it's kind of like it's not working. In fact, I think I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac here just so that it doesn't like get bunched up. punch my holes while that's 
coming to the top. And you could do it on the back if you wanted. Like in the center. Let's see. Like this. And I just measure. I use the same template for multiple things. And then I just kind of make sure that my fold is about the same as this side, you know. I think that will work. And then go ahead, like with a felt tip pin or whatever. I might have to do these again after I glue that. We'll see how that looks. This is for punching holes. So we have them here. Yeah, I'll probably have to do it again, but I can see those. that it kind of, and it, since it's um, lace, it'll kind of go through the whole thing. But yeah, on the front of it, I think I'm going to put flowers or something just to kind of combat all the um, busyness. It is kind of a busy cover, but I still love it. I still love how it turned out. Okay, let's try this again. I just want to kind of look at it. I think that's okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll line this back up. But anyways, for Chris, for Easter, I made, um, I, was, I wanted to make a ham and like scalloped potatoes, you know. Clint could not find any ham. Our store did not have any ham. I don't know if they didn't have it or if they, um, I'm just making sure it's not like kind of twisted or anything. They were sold out. I don't know, but so, and they didn't have a turkey. So we got a, um, we got a regular chicken, like a, just a big chicken. And we, roasted that and I made scalloped potatoes. I was going to make his birthday cake, which I'll probably link um, this weekend if anyone is interested. It's a carrot cake. I haven't made the video yet. Let me know if anyone wants to see that. But um, it's a baby food carrot cake. His birthday is on Today's the first. It's on the fourth. <laughs> we also have doctor's appointments on the fourth at 3.30. Both of us need our, what's those things called? The colon test and colonoscopy and the, um, the other one. The doctor said we're getting old. We kind of need those tests and our insurance pays for it. So, but it was kind of like, Plus, I'm having some issues, so you guys pray for me that it's nothing serious. I haven't talked about it before. It's kind of stressful, but I don't think it's anything. I'm not having symptoms or anything like of cancer, but it's just worrying, you know. Okay, so we got that. You're going to do three times. And again, this is a waxed nylon thread, I think. That's the only reason I use that is to punch those holes. Okay. And this, you're going to take your template, and that's why I have these lines that go sideways. Put it at the top, and then we're going to put our mark in there. Hopefully we can see it right in the center. But yeah, we got our taxes back. We didn't have to pay anything. We always have to pay, but it helped that I didn't do a lot in here. I think this is the first year we haven't had to pay anything. We've had to pay a little bit here and there. But anyways, but we had a nice surprise because we're getting some back, which is 
so and then you're just going to press you can do this inside a book if you want to me just watch your fingers because these awls are sharp but try to make sure it goes right through the spine like that and then this one Watch your fingers because that is painful. Okay, so then, just like I said, I'm just going to do the first one. Make sure you have it going in the right one. This is the front. This is the one I want to go first. So you just want to make sure the front one's going where you want it to if you have a preference. Okay, so we're going to go in the middle hole. If I can find it. Oh, come on. <laughs> That lays kind of moves on me, so it's kind of hard to, there it is. Okay, so you're going to go in the center, and then you're just going to leave a little bit of a string. Again, I'm going to put, um, my brain just quit working, uh, charms on those. So then I'm going to go to the bottom hole, and we're going to come back up through the signature. It's really easy. I always talk about the first time I ever did a signature, sewed it in. Oh my gosh. The lady I was watching, she, you sew in like six signatures on one piece of thread. And, uh, and then I sewed some upside down. It was a mess. Yeah, you want to make sure everything's, <laughs> you're putting it in correctly. The good thing is here, if you put it incorrectly, it's easy because then you just, you know, cut it out and start over again. But when you have like six or ten signatures on one piece of thread, that could cause an issue. <laughs> okay, so that's long enough. I do, you know, want to make sure. Like I said, you're doing three lengths. Then you're just going to put it under that first one. And you're just going to pull. Make sure everything is nice and tight don't want to pull too hard so that you're ripping your papers or anything but you do want it to be like nice and gathered in your in your book so that you don't have a gap see how that's kind of gappy I don't know if you can see that so I'm gonna pull on that one just a little bit more and just make sure that it stays let's see I think it's this one that looks perfect. And then I'm just going to do a double knot. And then I tend to cut these down because one of them's really, really long. And so when I'm putting on the other one, it sometimes gets in my way. So I just cut them down, make sure I have enough room to put my charm or whatever. You can just tie it into a bow, whatever you want to do. And that is one signature. I'm going to go ahead and do the other signature, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I got it sewn in, and Clint's here. Hey, guys. So, as soon as I finish sewing it in, go ahead, put everything back in my little kit, and then I Wait, it's put it organized. away. That way, that's the only thing in my life that's organized. Do you want to set that it was over there somewhere? So we did look at the eyelets that Clint has. He was going to cut some down for me. But the hole, I already cut them with a really big hole and they're tiny holes. So again, we're just going to use these. And yeah, it's a little thicker than it usually is. Yeah, it is. So I, I think I'm going to try to measure it. And you know, it's millimeter and all that stuff. So it's kind of hard to figure out what you need. And It is. So... Hopefully I can. <laughs> I told him, well, really, it's just to finish it off, even if, you know, it kind of goes on the inside. It kind of caught. Well, it won't matter. It's going to be tied anyway. Yeah, we're going to have a tie on it. So, it's so, actually what I was going to do before. Um, but then I was like, oh, these aren't going to work. <laughs> so then, that's why I was asking you if you had the longer ones. But yeah, his the hole for his is tiny. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, it's not gonna work anyway, so we'll just do these. 
But yeah, we'll have a tie in there. And like I said, some people don't even do this step. I just like it finished. Yeah, I just kind of. Oh. It's so pretty. Do you want me to? No, I got it. I just, I always forget how to, what the right way to do it is, you know. There. But yeah, I can definitely feel my, feel my arm again. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, so there we are. That's and like pretty. I said, we're going to do, um flowers or something here just to kind of break up the busyness of it I'm gonna put the ties Ooh, on I like that. yeah that's perfect yeah I was thinking I uh, wasn't sure it would be I did order some more of these little ribbon clamps crimps I think is what they were called I forgot what they're called and um, got more of those because you guys know I really am enjoying well, working with nice. those they really add well, they do, and you know how I am. I'm kind of like, oh, I want to want to do that. And there we go. You just have to, and then when you tie it, you're going to have this really cute. Then we'll put the tassel on real quick, too, while we're here. I have no idea how long this <laughs> video is. <laughs> I keep pausing it, and I keep forgetting to look, but I know you guys <laughs> don't, don't mind. mind. They don't care. It's not that long, because... I only showed one, um, what's it called? Sewing in the signature. Mm. Which way did we go with that one? I think we went from the inside. Yeah, you did. Did I? And then when you tie it, see you have this really pretty ribbon. It just looks really pretty. That's why I do it so big. You don't have to do it that long. So that's what that's, that's going to so look pretty. like. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to get the tassel and I'm going to show you how I attach that. And then we'll probably go ahead and put charms on the bottom and then we'll call it good. So let me grab the tassel duber. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put the charms on and then we're going to put together, put the tassel on. So I went ahead and found the charms I wanted to use. This one's going to be really um, decked out. You know what, Daddy-o? Uh -huh. <laughs> I've had fun. Fun, That's fun. Important. It's been a while since I did it. So, I have these Walmart. big beads, yeah, that just kind of I need to use up, and I thought they'd be perfect for this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and then these kind of oriental but they have flowers on them so I thought those would work like I'm like I said I'm trying to use up you know what I already have um, <laughs> if I can get it in there I should have kept my needle from the I wonder if I have one in here from sewing it in you know usually I don't have any issues no. I think it bent on the edge, Probably. and so it just kind of, come on you. <laughs> Strained, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, um, we were talking about Easter and what we ended up eating. Mm -hmm. That was really good. And your birthday cake coming up. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me see if I have a needle. And that one kit I just gave you. Can you reach in there and grab me that, um, yeah, the needle. It's in there. Yeah. Maybe that will work if it goes through my Red. bead. Nope. Uh, maybe I can get it to work. <laughs> you guys, it's that kind of day. Okay, we're going to try it and see if we can't. I don't think I have the patience either today. It's just kind of... There we go. Got that one. Let's see if it goes through this big one without any issues. Ooh, perfect. And then let's see if we can just thread through there. I think they're just... Yeah, let's just do it instead of waste in time what do you guys think yes Michelle yes yeah, I think <laughs> you're fine. No, 
no sense in fighting it okay so then whenever you have like a big bead like this you're going to take your thread or your if you had a smaller one you could probably just put a knot in it you know but i'm gonna go back through these two or at least through one it doesn't have to be necessarily both of them and that's going to hold you know everything there you go and then we'll tie a knot right there that's cute i like that but yeah so today is monday and we're gonna have leftovers so sure that's a good chicken on there it was I really, really good chicken, potato. and the potatoes were really yeah. good, too. But I made a big old batch, and it's just the two of us, so I will um, freeze freeze them. Oh, definitely. But it would be so good if we had um, thing. Ham. Ham. Yeah, I was kind of disappointed. That yeah, we, I mean, they might have some dinner, like at the other store at Safeway. I don't know. And then I have the same cut type of beads for this other one. But yeah, I mean, I thought they had some earlier in the week it or did. the week before or something. You must not have very many. Oh, come on. It's not going in that one. Try it the other way. Maybe, maybe they just sold out or something. Yeah. That's what I'm okay, I got it. And then I have this really pretty heart. Kind of like a little blue heart bead. So I'm just going to make sure it's going the right direction. <laughs> uh oh, my needle won't fit. Won't fit in that one. And then this one. Let's see if it can, if we can get it back. Oh, geez. It's harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I have little tiny holes on the other ones, but I'm hoping that it'll just go through them. Yeah, I think they, like these are. Those. I think these are hollow. Probably so. And it's not so one. it's not like, yeah, it's not doing what it needs, what I want it to do, kind of thing. And you don't necessarily have to go through like. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do on this one. I'm just going to. Say you're going to have. Yeah, I'm just going to wrap it around because I can't even go back up into this one, I don't think. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. It's letting me. Okay. But I'm not going all the way up. So, let's see if I can pull it. Yeah, Clint was taking a nap. Well, we were both taking naps. I tell you, getting up at 3 or 4 is for the birds. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to be okay um, when he had that emergency. So it wasn't too far away. It was no. At least it wasn't all the way in Durango. Oh, that would suck. That would not have been good. So let's tie it here and then here. We did notice that our um, my desk is not. Level. Level. <laughs> okay, that's cute. Go back to this one, and then I have these in pink, these little pink ones. So what I'm going to do is, hopefully I can find the hole. There it is. I don't think we're going to have any issues with this one, just because it's... Um, solid, probably. Yeah, I think it's just a solid hole. I have to trim that. There it goes. I think that's why we had so many issues. But the beads were like rolling all over the desk. Which is quite humorous. So I'll probably put this up on Wednesday for sale. Because um, all I have to do now is just do a couple of things and do a flip through. So probably in tomorrow's video we'll probably just do the flip through which would be Wednesday's video. See, this little charm is going to be easy because all you have to do is just tie a knot. Make sure that's about where you want it. I 
I don't really like, you know, my beads necessarily like up in the, in the pages. And if you're writing and this is bugging you, let me show you. Or you put it like in a, uh, put it one more. You want to put it like in your bookcase or whatever. These beads might bother you. You can just pop them up at the top and then just store it in your book like that. Or in your bookcase. Okay. Let's see. We can do these and then I'll put on the tassel. Do you want to dig for the tassel for me, hon? Sure. It's in that basket, just in the bottom, kind of. found it. Yes. Thank you, dear. Mm -hmm. I can't find the hole. hole. Wait, I feel it. Oh, geez. Okay, I think I found it. <laughs> so, guys, you want me to tell you what I got Clint for his birthday? can't use it though until the, when is it, the 30th? 30th or the 29th. I can't remember. It happens to be on a Tuesday, which is odd. But we're going to see... Sleep at the Wheel. Sleep at the Wheel. It's his favorite group. And it's their farewell tour, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 And he's been talking since we got married that he wanted to go see them. And they are in... Uh, They're going to be in Durango in Durango, so, that night. So we're excited I to go very and, excited. and see them. We haven't really done anything like that since we've been married. No. And, oh, here's the needle, hun, before I forget. If you can pop it back in that one, so I don't lose it. No. But yeah, so, that was his, I mean, he knows about it, he's actually like, I want to go, so we went ahead and got the tickets for that. Yeah, so. we're tr trying to figure out what's the best place to sit. And so we got tickets for the balcony aisle because I'll have to keep standing up and stretching out my legs and stuff. So Yeah, so I'm we're kinda, excited. I'm very excited. I think excited. that would be fun. You know, I told you guys the Ida Red, that so was one of the songs they sing. So. Isn't that pretty? I love that, how it looks. That looks cool. And you sewed that on Ida Red, didn't you? Did you? Yeah, I did. I did sew this on on his sewing machine, Ida Red. Yep. <laughs> okay, so, oh, you know what else I need from there? I'm sorry. From oh, never screen. mind. Don't worry about it. I'll use my, uh, Punch. this thing. Yeah, so I'm really excited. I... Yeah, so I'm going to use this, and we're going to hang it from here. I think I have smaller ones, but for the life of me, I don't know what no, I think that's fine. I think this will be just fine. Punch a big old hole. Yeah, so we're excited to go. And I love that kind of music anyways. It's my favorite. Western so. swing. Western swing. I'm not a Sleep big at the wheel. Country person. Yeah, like you don't you're not yeah. Some of it, but I don't definitely don't like the new stuff. <laughs> But I really love to sleep at the wheel. And I'm not going to put an eyelet just because I don't know if the hole is big enough for this thing. And I don't want to have to mess everything up. I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Just do it that way. So that is all there is to that. And hopefully I'll link these below if I have slightly smaller ones. The ones I ordered. Somebody sent me these, I think. The ones I ordered were actually um, like this big. <laughs> So obviously size matters. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of bending. So what you can do if you don't like it showing up, you can bend them both in the same direction. Or we can, I don't know if I like that either. Let me see. Here's a pair of pliers. I think what I'm going to do is just bend one over. 
just so it's, or we could cut it off, I guess. It might be better cut it. If I can, it might be hard. Nope, very simple. Just don't want anyone getting cut on it. It's not too sharp, so. And then it's not gonna poke you. And then this little guy will be tied to that. So I didn't tie my ribbon very, very tight, but on here I'll tie it. Okay, there we go. And then we'll tie it a little bit tighter. I can make it look pretty. And I have that one, um, it was a charm I'm going to put on it. So as soon as I find that, it's probably in that basket, but I don't want Clint to have to look for it. And I think I will put a, just a dab of glue on it. Is this glue? Probably clogged. Clogged. But yeah, so I think that's so pretty. What do you think, hon? I like it. So I have this big old hat pin. Let's see if I can get it un unclogged with it. There we go. Because that ribbon, it's kind of that satin ribbon or whatever, it tends to um, come unraveled. Like so that. far, this is what it's looking like. I like it. So one more thing I forgot I was going to show you guys. Let me tie this again. Because I'm going to, like I said, I wanted to put some kind of um, flowers or something around the circle. And while we were away, Clint dug some flowers up for me. Not really, but you know. <laughs> so they're going to kind of go down here. And just kind of make it more like a focal point type thing. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Is it even number? Odd. I don't know. That's five, six. Do we want six or do we want five? Just six. Okay. Just two. Yeah, and then it'll kind of, I really like that and it doesn't feel as, um... Plain Jane. No, not plain at all. Um, oh, my brain just quit working. Well, it kind of breaks it up. Yeah, it breaks it up. It doesn't feel as, as chaotic, I guess. Okay, so let's... So, since there's six, there'll be two kind of in the center. Using some Fabri-Tac, which I love for things like this. I need to put my stuff on it. Did you stop by the mailbox on the way home? No, I didn't have key. Oh, oh and I got, it was too late. Oh, okay. It was 2.30 when I came through, so <laughs> didn't even bother. Clint left his key down there. Man, it's black, huh? I know, we're supposed to get a storm tonight. Or something, I don't know. There we go. I just wanted something to kind of cut down the chaoticness, <laughs> if, that, if that's a word. I like it. And these are cute little um, crocheted flowers yeah, that I, I like those. Those are just right. picked up somewhere or on the internet. Well, and the yellow goes with the yellow and the yeah, blue. Yeah, it's got so really perfect. nice. It ties did, in really good. Yeah. I would have put more, but those were all we had. And I really like how it looks. I think it looks really cute. I like it. I just kind of breaks it up a little bit because I felt like it was so overwhelming. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun talking to you. And we will see you in the next video. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Thanks for visiting Tutzines. Tutzines.